Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's July the 19th and we're still looking at 1 Corinthians and chapter 2. My password is from verse 10 but I need to read the verse before to enable us to um, get the context. Paul says, but as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Now, most of the time when this verse is quoted, it's quoted as a sort of an encouragement to Christians that there are wonderful things which God has prepared for Christians that they don't know about. And that's not what Paul says at all. Paul in this passage is contrasting the natural man with he that is spiritual, the spiritual man. Now the natural man is the person who is unsaved. He doesn't have the Holy Spirit in his heart and he doesn't have the teaching and enlightening ministry of the Holy Spirit in his life. He's just an ordinary man unsaved but the spiritual man he that is spiritual is a Christian that is alive in his spiritual relationship with the Lord in such a way that God reveals to him by the Spirit the things that are of the Spirit even the deep things of God. So let me read the whole thing again and you'll see what I mean. I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of the natural man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. What Paul is saying in these two phrases is that the unbeliever has got no idea about all those wonderful things that God has prepared for those that love him. The unbeliever has no concept really of forgiveness of sins. No concept of justification, no concept of cleansing and of righteousness. They have no concept of heaven and no concept of all the blessings that God has prepared for those that love him. Wow. Paul says we talk about these things. Not in words of man's wisdom, but the, but the wisdom that the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. And we have, he says, the mind of Christ. Paul was battling in this church against the clever guys. The guys who had piles of this world's wisdom, but they were unsaved, some of them. And Paul says, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit. They are foolishness to him. He cannot receive them because these things are spiritually discerned. You can only see these things when the Holy Spirit enables you. And when you become a Christian, the Holy Spirit does enable you. Amen. God bless you. Look forward to talking to you all again later today, tomorrow morning. Bye for now.